Um, the one story, though, is that the one owner, when they were here, had a pot of boiling potatoes. And the lady went back in the kitchen. The pot, the potatoes, the boiling water, gone. Never did find it. What? In fact, I think that's in the haunted book. The what? The, a pan of boiling potatoes. It's gone. Gone. Can you tell me what happened to the boiling potatoes? Can you tell me what happened to the Parisian sandwich? I just heard a noise back in the uh, kitchen area where here. the pies are. Come sit down with us. We had uh, one of our new uh, grill ladies, a well, young girl. At the end of the day, she went to take her apron off and it was tied in five different knots. Really? <laughs> she didn't know how in the heck. Somebody else had to help her get out of it. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Didn't even feel it happen or nothing? Mm -mm. Didn't feel it happen. Then there was a story where they were having a big dinner here, and the lady was carrying green beans through to you know the big party, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden there was another man walking towards her, and right about when they got to where they were gonna you know meet, all of a sudden her green beans went whoosh, up in the air. And the guy thought, you know, she threw them, and, and she thought the guy did it. And they were like, you know, and so she said, why did you do that? He's going, well, why did you do that? And she goes, I didn't do that. So mm -hmm. something flipped her green beans. Wow. We had a pan of rice, or uh, cupcakes. Back there on the prep table, mm -hmm. there was three pans of cupcakes. And we were all in other rooms because we were baking stuff because they have a peanut butter and jelly festival every Friday and you can sell stuff up there. So we were making cupcakes. My daughter made them in little ice cream cones. Well, we hear this god-awful crash in the kitchen. We went running back in there and here's the pan, the middle pan had flipped onto the floor. So I got mad at him. I gave the ghost heck that night. I told him I didn't appreciate it. That was twelve dollars worth of cupcakes. Mm. My daughter comes in there. She goes, "Who are you fussing at?" And I go, "The ghost." I go, "They really upset me. They shouldn't have wasted our cupcakes." <laughs> so sometimes you gotta yell at them. I thought then that maybe it was because she was making rice krispie treats and she was vibrating and hammering. Mm -hmm. So we put them back up on the table and I had her do what she was doing, and they didn't even move. So I said, no, I don't know what happened there. Yeah. Then one day he come in and there was a pot in the middle of the exactly. floor. Did he tell you that? Oh, did you hear that noise? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just heard a noise in the other room next door. You're getting closer. There's somebody here. You're getting closer. Just come on in here. We're not going to hurt you. We're not. You like that? I'm telling your stories? Yeah, just come on in here. Come on, you can light this up. I know you can do it. I would just love to know that you're really here. It's a validation. I believe you're here. Did you ask if Judy was here? Oh, Judy. Hey, Judy, are you here? I know this was your heart and soul. You love this place. Judy, if you're here, please light that up and let me know. I've been told they thought you were still baking in the kitchen. Judy, if you're here, do you have a message for us? Judy is the one who started the restaurant. Okay. She started out with crafts and cookies and stuff, and then it kept getting bigger and bigger. She had rented the place to start with. It was called Country Kitchen, I think. And then finally they ended up calling it House of Plenty because they said she had plenty of kids, plenty of this, and plenty of food. <laughs> and when the family lived here, a lot of their kids' friends would come and stay and they had a lot of different stories. They told a story about Judy uh, had her checkbook out writing checks and all of a sudden it went missing for several days and then it just showed up. They said they used to find chairs stacked in that room. Really? Um, Another thing was, they, somebody brought a, I think it was a dress upstairs, and um, they had been shopping and they took it upstairs and laid, I think, it on one of the beds. 
and um, they heard something upstairs. Well, when they went upstairs, the dress was gone, and nobody else was in the house, and they couldn't find the dress. Well, I think they said several days later they found it in one of the drawers, a bottom drawer. Hmm. So that we found the thing that when things disappear, and then mm -hmm. sometimes they come back, sometimes they don't. <laughs> You might want to take pictures on the staircase because when we did the dinner, we had a white mist. That in the upstairs hallway, we had a white mist. Say, Joseph, tell us your name. What that say? Is your name is your name Josephine? Yes or no? Did you do that? And is it your still your home, Josephine? Ah, yeah. Well, I sure didn't know you were here, Josephine. Josephine, is your is your husband still here with you? Can you say yes or no? Yes, he's still with. Are you sure you're not setting that off there? My camera. Okay, that's all you got. You shut the phone. I don't have. I put my phone. On okay. There. Do you mind me sitting here with Josephine? You might have sat on her lap. <laughs> yeah, I'm not squishing you, am I? Here, I'll pull the chair out. <laughs> Josephine, I'm really excited that you're here. I didn't know you were one of them that was here. Steve? More names. What did it say? Does it bother you that we're in your house? Is that our song, Josephine? <laughs> Ask her to slow dance. It said Mark. Josephine, do you like my name? Come on, Judy. I know you've been cooking in that kitchen for a long time. They had the story. So, out. Judy and so how many the women? Julie, you, mm -hmm. Judy, mm -hmm. and what was the other? Oh, that one lady's name. What was her name? Josephine. 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 Another Josephine. So oh, it could have been her too. The women seem to, the women owners of this place seem to have a pattern of J's. <laughs> the J team. Mm -hmm. If you're on the J team, come and light it up. You hear that? It was one of the stories. You hear that? What'd you hear? Just like creaking noises over here. Yeah. But there's nobody there. <laughs> 